So now that we know how to compute a standard deviation, which is uh, a numerical measure of a spread for a given set of numerical data, okay, so let's see how can we use it for a distribution that is a normal distribution, okay? So let's take this example in which we say we know that the heights of men aged between 20 to 29 years that follows a normal distribution with mean of 69.3 inches and a standard deviation of 2.8 inches, okay? So here is our normal curve that gives us this distribution. We know that the mean is 69.3, all right? So the mean is 69.3 and a standard deviation is how much? 2.8. So let's note that what percentage of data or what percentage of heights of uh, young, you know, young men in this age range, okay, is within one standard deviation of the mean, okay? All right, so what do we mean by that? We mean the following. That is notice that the mean is how much? The mean is 69.3 inches. So if we go one standard deviations, one standard deviation below, what will I get? I'll get 66.5 inches, right? And if I go one standard deviation above, what would I get? 2.8, that is, uh, what will that be? 72.1 uh, inches, right? Okay, so what we have to look here is, let's go to 66.5, just wait a minute. This is 66, this is 68, so this is 60. 7 then, so 66.5 should be approximately here, okay, all right, and then let's go to 72.1, so this being 73, 72.1 will be approximately here, so what we would like to know is, we would like to look, know that what percentage of observations are within these two values, or what is the area under the normal curve, Okay, and over the x-axis between 66.5 and 72.1 inches. So let's work on that. We will pull up the calculator and go to normal CDF. All right. So what do we do? We put the lower bound. Okay. And uh, then we put the upper bound. Okay then the mean and then what the uh, standard deviation i think i got it incorrect uh, yes 2.8 right okay 2.8 okay so what do we get we get uh, something is wrong okay this should have been 69.3 right so i have to correct that so one quick way of doing that will be just press second enter so it gives you the whole thing back and i want to overwrite that eight with nine and this looks better okay so what we have then is that this area that we see right here oops just a second where did it go sorry about that okay here we are so this area is approximately how much? 68.3% because in here we have it as a proportion, right? So what we can say, so about, so we can easily, or we can rather conclude that about 68.3% of the data, okay, all right? is within what? 68.3% of the data is within one standard deviation of the mean for a normal distribution. Okay, all right. So let's uh, now notice in the 
in more calculations that how much of the distribution is covered within two standard deviations of the mean okay now we take up the question that what percentage of uh, the data is within two standard deviations of the mean okay and I should uh, put uh, you know an S there for uh, plural I mean you know I mean I know that you know what I'm talking about but it's still yes right here okay so let me get the calculator and this time to get things faster uh, we will just uh, do this that uh, let the calculator do the arithmetic so I'm going to standard deviations below so what I got here 63.7 okay and then what will I have let me just get the change this to uh, this to plus okay all right and that's how much 74.9 so these are the upper and lower bounds or lower and upper bounds in the strict sense okay so we want to know that what percentage of data goes within these two values or just for a quick quick like visual idea we want to go from here up to 74.9 so this is 75 so we want somewhere approximately here okay and so this is the area that we want all right so we have so what we will do we'll go back to the calculator okay and uh, get what second distribution normal CDF again so we have 63.7 and 74.9 you can use shortcuts if you would like but this is short enough for me okay all right so we have this so we got what like about 95 percent of the area is within two standard deviations of the mean or about or I can make another you know another conclusion in context here that about okay let me change the color here I'm sorry okay. so about 95 percent of adults okay 20 to 29 years of age okay have heights between what and what 63.7 inches and 74.9 inches right so 63.7 inches and uh, what's the other limit uh, 74.9 inches right okay so this is how much is covered within two standard deviations of the mean okay now we would like to answer the question that what percentage of data is within three standard deviations of the mean what we mean here then is that uh, we have the mean and we do what go three standard deviations below okay and then we have the mean again and we go what three standard deviations above all right so we have to go between 60 point 60.9 inches all right and 77 point uh, excuse me 77 point seven inches right so let's see this is 62 so this would be 61 so 61.9 would uh, come somewhere here right okay and uh, 77.7 would be somewhere here all right so what do we need now looks like that we will get the almost the entire data covered we are leaving this tiny bit here okay good so 
we want to get this area which will be almost the entire data see very tiny tail on this side very tiny on this side so so it's like approximately between 61 inches and 78 inches that's the you know that's the percentage that we would like to talk about right so let me get the calculator back here for you so you have normal CDF we got 60.9 then 69.3 and then 2.8 all right so what we got is like about 99.7 percent of the data okay which is which you can phrase as almost all okay but let's say 99.7 percent because if we are talking about billions of people here so even 99.7 percent will leave lots of values out and we know so you know we know some people who have uh, heights higher than how many 78 inches right okay so here about uh, excuse me 99.7 percent okay of the adults have heights between what and what between 60 60.9 inches and 77.7 inches all right okay sorry about this let me just push it to the right here we go okay 